You can take an entire course including topics in this video through our website and get a certificate of completion from RASOF, the online educational radio frequency institute located in Irwan, California. Instructions and coupon for taking this course is provided at the end of this video. In this section we are going to talk about phaser briefly. Uh, learning phaser is important in designing uh, radio frequency circuits because we always try to find the steady state waveforms of voltage and current so we have to learn how to do calculations using the uh, phaser. What is phaser? Uh, it's a representation of a sine wave with frequency and amplitude. We can represent a sine or cosine wave with a complex number. So uh, actually it's very simple when we have a wave uh, let's say a cosine omega t plus phi this is the amplitude, A is amplitude, and phi is the uh, phase of this wave. So how can we show this in a phaser form? We can show with a real, uh, real part of the complex number. And this A also is a complex number here. So uh, how can we show A here? A is equal to, the, uh, to this value here. So, and A here, this is the amplitude, this is the magnitude of A and this is the phase. So if we replace this A here, we will see that uh, we can have this kind of equation. So this part, as you see, uh, let's replace see what's happening here. So here we can say the real part of uh, A, we are replacing A, as we said, E, J, we have uh, the phase here, and also we say E, J, omega T, so we just replace the A here, as you see. And how can we write this? Uh, we can write this like a um, real part of A, E, J. If two, we have to uh, add them together. So we have something like this at the output. And uh, we can write this as the cosine omega t plus phi and plus j is a complex number we can show like this j is sine omega t plus phi and uh, so here we have a at the output and for this one we want to find the the real part and as you see the real part is this part so actually we are, uh, we reach the same thing here. So we can say this is equal to A cosine uh, omega t plus phi. Okay, let's make a very good example here to, uh, to see how we can uh, show the uh, wave. For example, let's say we have a wave 2 cosine omega t plus uh, 30 degree and uh, 2 is amplitude, 30 degree is our phase. It's very simple, we can show it like a 2 uh, and uh, e to the power of j 30 as you see here or 2 with 30 degrees we have two kind of uh, methods to show this phaser here and we call this phaser so this is our amplitude and this is our phase let's talk about impedance and admittance uh, what is impedance it's a ratio of phaser voltage to phaser current this time it's kind of uh, very close to the actually resistance. So in uh, resistance we say that resistance R is equal to V over I. But here uh, in order to find impedance we have to find the ratio between phasers not the uh, voltage and current value here. So if we have a, a voltage phaser and if we have a current phaser we will find the impedance and impedance also is a complex number. So impedance has a real part. This is a real and it also has imaginary part. And what about the admittance? Uh, it's exactly opposite of uh, impedance. So uh, impedance is equal to 1 over y. So we can also say that admittance is equal to 1 over z. So let's see some examples about it, uh, impedance. Uh, the R is resistance and uh, the impedance is equal to R and we can show it 1 over R. What about the inductance? What is the impedance of inductance? As you see, it's equal to J omega L. So it shows that the impedance of inductor is actually proportional to frequency. As we increase frequency, the impedance increases. 
and admittance is uh, 1 over j l omega, so it's proportional to inverse of frequency. And what about the capacitor? The capacitor, uh, the impedance is 1 over j omega c, it means that if we increase the frequency, the impedance will decrease. And uh, admittance is j omega c, so it's uh, opposite of, it's uh, inverse of the actually uh, impedance here. So uh, in RF world, we always uh, work with these three elements, resistance, inductance, and capacitance. And we always care about the impedance and admittance of these three values, because uh, we are working with the frequency, and we have to uh, see what kind of behavior uh, we expect from these three elements. So here, uh, resistance is constant, it doesn't change with frequency, L is proportional to frequency, when we increase our frequency, and the the uh, not l but the impedance actually the impedance of the uh, inductor changes it increases with the frequency and the impedance of capacitance decreases so we can say that the let's say zl and zc is uh, proportional to inverse for z is proportional to inverse of frequency this is very helpful uh, for the beginning it's uh, it will help us a lot in designing matching circuits in designing radio frequency circuitry we have to actually we have to learn about the uh, phaser and impedance and admittance in order to start designing the radio frequency circuits these are the most important and uh, uh, fundamental actually concepts that we have to learn Hey guys, thank you for watching the entire video. I'm going to provide you with a coupon for taking our fundamental basic concepts and components RA RF101. So you can uh, get this course from our website. If you go to the page, you just have to select the buy this course and register here. As you see, if you're not registered up to now. So you need your username, email, password, and also you have to answer a security question. And then you can uh, press the uh, register button, uh, press the sign up button and uh, you will be able to uh, register in our website. Then after that, all you need to uh, do is going to the course landing page and uh, go to checkout. And as you see, click to enter your code. You can put the, the coupon code here and then apply the coupon. So then you will have this course for free and you can uh, take this course. As you see, you won't pay anything for this course. Rasoft has one of the most complete online certificate in radio frequency available which covers practical topics needed to be a knowledgeable RF engineer. Since all courses are consulted closely by design engineers and pioneers whom have worked as RF engineers in top RF companies such as Qualcomm, Broadcom, Skyworks, Intel and Apple as well as avionic companies. It covers the necessary information to land a job or successful in your career. Your first step to take the prerequisite course, RAH RF101, which we have provided the free coupon for it, RFPREREQ101. See you there shortly.